Hey everyone, it's Matt Frazier, The Psychic Medium, and I am live right now on YouTube, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys because I have so much to talk to you guys about, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is about spirit guides and your guardian angels. Now, this is a video that many of you guys have been asking me to do for quite some time. A lot of you have been feeling a spirit that's with you. You're not sure who it is. You're not sure who's guiding you, who's helping you, who's really there. So that being said, I want to introduce you to your spirit guide. And I love talking about this because there's so many of you who will actually write to me and talk to me and you'll be like, Matt, what's going on? You know, I don't have anybody guiding me in spirit. There's nobody that's there. And a lot of you guys might think that because you haven't lost somebody significant within your life, that you have nobody that's watching over you on the other side. And I got to tell you guys that that's just not true. We are all born here in this world with at least two people that are watching over us. And these two people, with these two beings, I should say, are really, really important because they have such a profound impact in your life. And that is your guardian angel and also your spirit guide. And I want to talk about your guardian angel. I want to talk about your spirit guide. I want to talk about what they're doing in your life, why they're important, and more importantly, how you can sense and feel them because that's so important because they're with you every day. And for those of you who are live with me right here, right now, I first of all want to say hello to Jennifer Cash, hello to Brittany, hello to E.M. Louise, hello to Beverly Manning, hello to uh, Amanda Koibel, and also Karen Yu and Nita. Uh, yes, I see you all, and I see Patricia, ba uh, ba uh, oh my God, I can't pronounce the last name for some reason, it went too quickly, and I, oh my God, you guys are all here. All right, so we're going to jump into this. I want to talk to you guys about your spirit guides. I want to talk to you guys about your guardian angels because this is the most important part. And this is the one thing that the spirit world has told me that I find the most interesting about spirit guides and angels. And that is that your spirit guide and your angels chose you. What does that mean? It means that before you were even born here in this world, when your soul was coming into existence, there were two beings in heaven that chose to watch over you. And that is one, your spirit guide and two, your guardian angel. And what's so amazing is that to these two individuals, you are the most important person in this world. Your guardian angel doesn't give a shit about me. Your spirit guide doesn't give a shit about me, you know, or anyone else. Your spirit guide and your guardian angel only cares about you. You are the diamond in the rough. You are the one person that they care about and they are fully invested in you. Why is that? Because I have my own spirit guides. I have my own guardian angel and so do all of you here. So to your guardian angel and to your, to your spirit guide, you are the most important person here in this world. And before you were even born, your guardian angel and your spirit guide chose you to watch over. And it's really, truly amazing on how our guardian angel and our spirit guide chooses us because, you know, the way that they choose us varies from individual to individual. When I talk to the spirit world about this, they tell me this. They tell me that your spirit guide could choose you for a couple different reasons. One, they could choose you because they just feel a connection to you. They just feel a special bond with you. Two, they could choose you because spirit guides were actually souls that were, once were alive here in this world. So when people say, what is a spirit guide? Who is a spirit guide? Well, your spirit guide isn't your grandmother that had passed. Your, your spirit guide isn't a grandfather that had passed. It's not a son or a daughter or someone that had, that had um, passed on that you knew of. Your spirit guide is actually somebody that you don't know. And I know that that seems a little bit creepy, but let me tell you this, okay? Your spirit guide was once a person who lived life here in this world that once roamed this earth that has died, crossed over to the other side and knows about you. Because the spirit world is a very, well, I like to think of it as a not so complex place, but some people think it's kind of complex. And here's the reason why. It might seem complex because, you know, the souls on the other side know the souls are going to be born here in this world as weird as that is. So before you even start your journey here in this world, we actually are souls that first start off in heaven. So what's really cool is your spirit guide already completed their journey here in life. And they know that you're about to start yours. So your spirit guide sometimes will choose you or choose to watch over you here in this life and choose to guide you here in this life. 
Because like I said, one, they feel a special connection or two, because maybe what you're going to do in life, the life path that you're supposed to go on is something that your spirit guide uh, once followed here in this world. So for example, let's say that, you know, uh, for example, here in this world, your spirit guide was once uh, uh, in the in the military and maybe your, your spirit guide died in the middle of battle. Well, your spirit guide on the other side might choose you to, to watch over because you want to pursue a career in military. You want to be somebody that, you know, protects a nation. You want to be somebody that, you know, um, that goes overseas and defends other people and so on and so forth. Do you see that alignment, how that happens? Is sometimes the sole purpose that the spirit guide has sometimes lives on through you in a different way. So that might be the reason why your spirit guide chose you to watch over. For example, there was a reading I did where, you know, this person was a school teacher here in this world. And on the other side, their spirit guide was a school teacher way back in the day that chose to watch over this certain individual to keep her on her life path as being a school teacher here and now. So what's really cool is that your um, spirit guide will choose you based on that on that life path, but sometimes your spirit guide will also choose you based on the challenges. So for example, let's say your spirit guide here in this life had an addiction. Maybe that addiction was drugs. Maybe that addiction was alcohol. Maybe it was a different type of addiction, like gambling or money or whatever it may be. Your spirit guide might know that you're going to face those struggles and challenges here in this world. So that spirit guide chooses to watch over you because they know how to help you and guide you when you're going through those same tr struggles and challenges. So it's really cool because your spirit guide automatically starts to know your life, okay, before you even start to live it. And what I've heard from the spirit world is that the spirit guides that watch over us have actually, actually know this about us because they have spent years training for their job as a spirit guide and to watch over you. That's how your spirit guide knows so much about your life. Before you're even born, your spirit guide spends years and years and years training to become your spirit guide. They know who your soulmate is. They know, you know, this is like confidential information, by the way. So like these things that the spirit guide knows, you know, this is kind of like the, 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 uh, uh, what's it called? The secret files of you, right? The files that we don't even have access to your spirit guide does because here in this world, your spirit guide is meant to keep you on track. Your spirit guide is meant for you is, is meant to show you certain opportunities that you're supposed to have and find within life. Your spirit guide is supposed to lead you to your soulmate. Your spirit guide is supposed to, you know, help you through your challenges and your situations. Your spirit guide is meant to um, present certain people, certain opportunities, certain risks, all of these things that you're supposed to go through in life, your spirit guide does and keeps you on track. Now, I want to let you know, this is, this is a big misconception with spirit guides. Spirit guides do not help you uh, cheat life. So how many times do people write to me and they're like, Matt, why did my spirit guide make me meet my ex-husband? Why the hell did my spirit guide, you know, uh, make me meet that first boyfriend that was so awful to me, that was so terrible? Why did my spirit guide, you know, stop me from meeting that best friend that turned on me and that caused these issues within my life? Well, remember that we, we <laughs> excuse me, I put here on this earth to learn life lessons. By the way, I apologize for coughing. As you know, a couple, couple uh, months ago, I got over the flu. Well, actually, it was, it, was, it was two months ago. I got over the flu. I had this little cough. It was going away. The next thing you know, I did a live show in Las Vegas over the weekend. Everyone, who was smoking the marijuana? Who was smoking the wacky tobacco? Who was smoking the, the, the uh, cigarettes? So literally, I was fine. I was so good that I get to Las Vegas. And literally, literally, I felt like I was getting high walking the streets. There was so much that was there. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like this. I was teetering a little bit. But anyway, anyway, that's the reason why I, sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, um, what's it called? Take it in a different direction there. But if you hear me coughing, that's the reason why. So anyway, long story short is that your spirit guide is meant to lead you through those challenges. We are all put here in this world to learn life lessons. You know, life is not easy. It's not easy for any of us. But, you know, the challenges that you go through in life are meant to make you stronger. I promise you that. And what's so incredible, all right, is sometimes the biggest challenges that we face here in this world uh, end up benefiting us at the end. For example, you know, I talk about this all the time and I talk about it in my book. 
is that back years ago, I was bullied in school. Nobody even wanted to sit me sit with me at lunch. People would make fun of the way that I talked, the way that I looked, you know, the way that I was not athletic. You name it, high school was hell for me. And there was a point where I even questioned, why am I here on earth? Why, you know, nobody likes me. Nobody wants to be around me. Nobody wants to, you know, um, even make friends with me. Why am I put here? I was at the lowest of the low point in my life. You know, people were making fun of me every day. They were, they were, you know, um, harassing me every day. So much so that I actually had to change to change schools in high school and go to a different school to escape the bullies. And at that point, I wasn't even sure. I wasn't even sure that I was going to finish high school. I was thinking about just getting my GED and going off on my way because I needed to go and, you know, uh, I, I wanted to avoid people at all costs. And because of this, I hit the lowest of my low. I didn't talk to people. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't try to make new friends. I wanted to be invisible. Literally, the person I was in high school, if you guys saw me, you would never ever realize that that was me because of the fact that I didn't say two words. I literally, you know, uh, tried everything that I could to just disappear and to just be invisible. Well, at that time, I was thinking, what the hell is my spirit guide doing? Why am I going through this? Why is this happening to me? You know, I felt like I, I felt like it was the lowest of the low in my life, and I didn't understand the life lesson. What was it that I was supposed to be learning? Well, I can tell you now, looking back, because hindsight is twenty twenty. And thank you guys so much for um, some of you guys in the super chat. Thank you, I see you. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. And the thing is, is that I've learned now, you know, there's not a day that goes by, you know, now that I have, now that I'm on TV and I'm on television and all this stuff and in the press that people make fun of me, they say things about me, you know, they call me a fake, they call me fat, they call me a con artist, they call me all these different things, right? But they don't, they don't know whether to bless me or burn me half the time. But I got to tell you guys, none of that bothers me. Why? Because of the fact that what I went through when I was in high school, when I hit that lowest of the low, when I was so far down and everybody was kicking me, all right, I will never revisit that place. You know, I, I, learned, I learned through my spirituality how to lift myself back up. I learned, you know, that it wasn't me. I learned that negative people are just going to be negative. They're going to pick on you no matter what. It was a problem that I went through my whole life. Back when I was younger, I had buck teeth that used to stick out. I, when I was younger, they would call me Bucky the Beaver. They would call me all these different things, buck tooth beaver, all this stuff. Literally, the kids would make fun of me. I got my teeth fixed. And then next thing you know, they would, you know, uh, they next thing you know, that wasn't a, a target anymore. It was the fact that I was scrawny. It was the fact that I was, you know, non-athletic. So, you know, the thing is, is that I realized, you know, going through life and as I would start to change myself, that I wasn't the one that needed to change. You know, it was the people that were around me. And literally, if I didn't go through those life experiences, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't have the courage to go on TV. I wouldn't have the courage to deal with the people who, you know, um, kicked me. I wouldn't be able to stand up to the skeptics like I do, to be able to stand up to the non-believers and the people who try to bring us down like I do. And I know it was because of, you know, uh, that God had a greater plan. God knew that I was going to be in the eyes of so many people and that, if I was going to do this work, I had to start back then learning to get rid of the negativity. So that's one of the, that's, I'm sharing that personal story for me, not to make it about myself, because I want to share that with all of you. You know, we all have a vulnerable side. There's always a time within our life that we're down when, when things happen, when we feel like we get kicked and we get punched and we get thrown down and we wonder why is this happening? Is someone looking up out for us? Why is God making this happen? Well, you know, like it says, your spirit guide leads you through, through these situations, but what your spirit guide doesn't tell you, okay, is that your spirit guide sees the end result. So as much, as much as you're angry and you're upset and you're hurt and you're sad and you're depressed and you're going through this and you're literally going through hell here, here on earth, you know, you might think that your spirit guide is sitting behind doing nothing. But your spirit guide sees how much stronger you're going to become. Go, you're going to become at the end of all of this. Your spirit guide sees you going through this. And that's what's so amazing. And, and what's so amazing is the spirit world tells me this. The spirit world tells me that at the end of our life is actually when we meet our spirit guide and we meet our loved one. And, and more importantly, we meet our guardian angel on the other side and we find out the role that they had within our lives. We find out how our spirit guide helped us. We figure out how our guardian angels helped us. 
And by the way, your guardian angels, okay, have, uh, you know, have come into your life in many different ways. Sometimes people think of guardian angels as being that guardian angel that, you know, saves you from the train that's about to hit. The guardian angel that pulls you from the car crash before you die. That guardian angel that, you know, divinely intervenes and saves you just before death. Well, sometimes that happens, but sometimes it doesn't. And here's the reason why. Your guardian angel isn't responsible for just keeping you out of safety. Your guardian angel is meant to help you through the challenging and emotional things that you go through in life. So as your spirit guide is leading you through hell and as your spirit guide, you know, is leading you through all, through all these challenges, all of these, all of these, you know, hills, all of these mountains, all of these valleys, all of these things, your angel is the one that's behind you saying, you can do this. It's okay. Your, your guardian angel is sending you energy. Your guardian angel is sending you, you know, comfort during dark times. Your uh, guardian angel is the one that's, you know, showing you kind of that light at the end of the tunnel. So what I want you guys to know is that in tandem, your spirit guide and your guardian angel work together through life. Your, your, you know, uh, guard, your spirit guide is, is uh, guiding you through the shit show that's happening through life. And your, and your uh, guardian angel is like a cheerleader in heaven that's saying, you know, you're going to get through it. It's going to be good. Don't worry about it. The best is yet to come. It's going to be fine. And what I want you guys to know is that your spirit guide just doesn't lead you through bad things. I'm just using that as an example because so many of you write to me and say, Matt, what the hell is going on? What is my spirit guide thinking? Did my spirit guide just, you know, hang up the phone? What the hell is going on here? No, your spirit guide actually, you know, leads you to amazing things that happen in your life as well. So it's not just the challenges, it's also the opportunities. Have you ever noticed that sometimes opportunities, opportunities just randomly fall into your lap? automatically things just start to happen. You know, you might be going down one pathway and then all of a sudden something changes and you're going down a different one and it leads you to meeting your best friends. It leads you to meeting your significant other and your soulmate. It leads you to um, finding your real, your, your real career. Well, what I want you to know is that that's your spirit guide at work. Sometimes the coincidences that happen are actually our, our spirit guides, you know, uh, are rearranging heaven in a way to make things work for us. Now, do you hear how I say your spirit guide leads you to things, presents opportunities, but your spirit guide doesn't make decisions for you. That's what's so important. Nothing in life is predetermined. You know, your spirit guide knows who you're supposed to meet, what you're meant to do, what your path is supposed to be, because we're all born here in this world with certain talents, skills, and abilities. But, you know, your spirit guide always wants you to make those decisions for yourself. So sometimes we meet our spirit guide, but we decide, you know, um, but we decide, you know, not to get married. We decide to put our career first, first and not a relationship. Sometimes it's just the opposite. Sometimes it's that, you know, you might, you might have an opportunity that comes up for you. That's part of your life path. That's part of your life mission. And you push it aside because, you know, instead you want to, you want to uh, try to meet your soulmate and experience love and open that chapter. Sometimes there's missed opportunities that happen within life. Our spirit guides will lead us to opportunities that we're supposed to do, certain jobs that we're supposed to have, you know, certain people that we're meant to help, certain pathways. And maybe we're not brave enough to take that first step. Maybe we're not brave enough, despite the way that our guardian angel is showing us the signs, we might not be brave enough uh, to go and to put, put one foot in front of the other and make those opportunities happen or to say yes to a certain contract or say yes to a certain thing or to pursue our dreams. Well, those things still happen. Those opportunities are still there, but it's up to you to take that next step forward. And that's what your spirit guide is responsible for. Your spirit guide is responsible for laying out the opportunities. They say to you, you could be with this person, this person, this person, this person, and then you have to decide, you know, are you going to go on the date? Are you going to put your heart out there? Are you going to apply for that job? Are you going to move to a different state? Are you going to overcome your, your, uh, your fears and your worries and your anxieties? Well, your spirit guide doesn't help you make those decisions, unfortunately. Your spirit guide, le you know, lays them out. And it's up to you to make that decision. But what I will let you know is that your spirit guide doesn't leave you hanging as well. All of those decisions that you're meant to make within your life, okay? Let's say you say no at a certain opportunity. That opportunity will keep coming back around again and again and again and again until you are ready to take that leap and to make that choice. For example, it was the same thing with me when I started doing this work. When I first started doing this work, 
you know, the spirit world showed me, Matt, you're meant to be on TV. You're meant to have a TV show. I wasn't ready. I wasn't, I didn't want to be in front of, you know, uh, millions of people in the very beginning. You know, I was still nervous. I was coming out of these past experiences. You know, I was still scarred from my own past and I had to, I had to work through it. Well, just when I said no, that opportunity kept coming again and again and again and again and again. And until, until finally I said, yes. Well, think about that with you. How many opportunities keep presenting itself again and again and again and again? And maybe you're afraid to take that opportunity. You know, a lot of times this happens with relationships where you might not feel like you're ready for a relationship, but this man keeps appearing again and again and again. Maybe it was somebody from your past. Maybe back in, in high school, you were supposed to meet a certain person, or maybe you were supposed to, you know, uh, date a certain person or, or marry them or whatever it may be. And years go by. And then next thing you know, that same person reappears within your life and things start off right where it left. Well, listen, that's your spirit guide bringing it back around. I can't tell you how many readings I do, by the way, that happen like that. How many readings where, you know, someone meets in high school, they have a little fling, you know, life pulls them in a different direction. They decide that they're not ready for a relationship. The next thing you know, years later, that person, you know, re-enters their life. Or maybe two people meet, you know, they separate, they get married, those, those marriages, you know, uh, dissolve. And then next thing you know, years later, they find themselves again and they get married, right? These are all connections that your spirit guide sees and that your spirit guide tries to help with. You know, there's certain people that are just meant to be in your life. There's certain people that you're supposed to meet, certain, certain opportunities that you're meant to have. And your life pathway, right, the, the pathway that your spirit guide is guiding you on, you know, really follows the skills and talents that God has given you. We are all born here in this world with a special gift. Some of us are psychics and mediums, but that's not just the only way that we're gifted. Some people are painters. Some people are healers where they become doctors and, and veterinarians. Some people are, uh, or, or nurses, I say, or psychologists. Some people are, um, uh, what's it called? Business-minded, where literally they can go in. For example, I know some, some really amazing uh, architectural designers that build you know, the houses that we live in, that build the skyscrapers, and they have such vision. It's such a gift. There's other people here in this world that you know, can sing. There's other people that can dance. There's other people that you know, just have uh, the skill set where literally they can be thrown into any situation and make things work. I know these people as, as the producers around the world, as the, as the songwriters, as the, uh, for example, you know, the producers that I deal with day to day, I, I'm amazed at just what they can do, how they can, you know, tell a story and they can, uh, they can, they can uh, just, they can just go into, I, sorry, I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. I see uh, Anita Spencer and, and Love Girl and uh, Rebecca. You guys are telling me all of your abilities as well. I see Love Girl. Amy says, I'm a writer. I see that um, that Jessica on there says that, uh, she, that she works in the healthcare field. Sorry, I'm squinting. I'm trying to read it at the same time. Uh, I see Technicolor says that she's, a, she's in psychology. And like I said, the producers, like, for example, the ones who worked on my show and that, that, uh, that work in, in news and whatnot, it's amazing how many things they can handle how they can take one individual and be able to tell their whole story and share, you know, the world with them. So share the, share them with the world is what I, what I should say. Sorry. I really need to stop, stop reading these comments because like, as, as I go, because literally they, they distract me. I can talk to dead people, but I can't read comments and talk at the same time. Go figure. But anyways, what I want you guys to know is one thing. All right is that your spirit guide does not give up on you. And when you don't make what you think, when you think you don't make the right decision, your spirit guide isn't there saying, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe this. Your spirit guide is always rerouting you. Think of your spirit guide like a GPS. When you put in an address in the GPS, you know, sometimes you hit detours, you hit roadblocks, you, you hit all these different, uh, these different issues. And all of a sudden your GPS says rerouting, rerouting, rerouting. And no matter how many times you have to reroute, this is me on a daily basis, by the way, because I can't find my, myself out of a cardboard box. But no matter how many times the GPS reroutes, I'm always led back to the same place. I finally get there. Even if it takes, you know, 12 times, you know, uh, even, even if it takes 15 times, however many times I miss that turn or miss that exit, the GPS will route me back. Well, your spirit guide does the same thing. And your guardian angels, the guardian angels are there because they help you in the emotional side of life. They help you get over that breakup. They help you heal from the past. They help you heal from the pain. And they help you by telling you that everything's going to be okay. When your fears and your anxieties take over, 
When your fears and anxieties tell you not to do something, they, when your fears tell you don't open your heart back up again, when your anxiety tells you you're not good enough to do that job, when your fear takes over and says you're never going to have a life like that, when your anxiety creeps in and says, you know, you'll never be happy again within your life. When you have all these negative things, do you just like hear and feel how, how heavy that all is? Well, that's your fears, worries, and anxieties. And I got to tell you something, that's one of the things that we struggle with the most here in this world. But the one thing that I've learned from your guardian angels is that when I do, when I, when I do talk to people and their guardian angels come through, one thing is so prominent. And that is that your guardian angels never stop believing in you. To, you know, here in this world, we're a numbers person, right? Or, or a lot, we're logical thinkers. We think about all the reasons why something, you know, won't work. We think about all the reasons why something won't succeed. But your guardian angels, on the other hand, think different. Your guardian angels don't give a shit about the reasons why it won't work. Your guardian angels only care about the one reason why it will. And sometimes we don't even see that reason. So when your intuition is saying, go do it, make it happen, you know, make sure, make sure that you do this, you know, go apply for that job, put your heart back out there, go in, go in, out on that date. And you feel that on the inside, that's your guardian angel speaking to you and leading you through that because your guardian angels are meant to lead you through your anxieties, worries, and fears. Now there are times when your guardian angels will you know, warn you when something's about to happen, you'll feel that feeling in your stomach in the pit of your stomach, not to go somewhere, not to do something, not to trust a certain person. That's a big one too. You're going to the angels are always, are always trying to warn you when someone is coming into your life or trying to, to make their presence known in your life when they're not good for you. So when someone, you know, is not who they say they are, when somebody, you know, uh, uh, you know, doesn't want good things for you, your guardian angels do, Try to go and, you know, protect you from that. But you got to listen to yourself internally. you got to listen to those feelings that you get and know that they are real. But what's truly incredible, and another thing that spirit tells me is that you won't know the true way that your spirit guides have helped you from the other side and the way that your guardian angel has saved you. Because there's so many ways that your guardian angel has saved you in life that you know nothing about. But once you go to heaven, everything is revealed. You'll see. From the moment you were born to the moment you left this world, and you'll see just how many opportunities your spirit guide had led you to. You'll see the challenges on why you went through those things in your life. You'll see how your guardian angel helped you, how your guardian angel was there for you, and how your guardian angel saved you. And that truly is what's incredible. And the spirits tell me that when they get to the side, it's at that moment that they're able to see all of the ways that their spirit guides and their angels and their loved ones in heaven were there and part of their life. Because what's so tough is that we can't see our guardian angels and our spirit guides. They appear to us in a different way. They appear to us through our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions. So sometimes we might think that it's us that you know we're talking to. You ever hear those in internal conversations with yourself? You hear somebody within your own voice talking to you, speaking to you, connecting with you. Well, those voices don't just come from you. Those messages and voices are the voices of your spirit guide, your guardian angels, and your loved ones on the other side. You have a team in heaven that you know nothing about, but they all know about you. And what's truly amazing is at the end of life, you will see all the ways that they've been helping you and the ways that they've appeared in your life and the ways that they've helped you. Now, one of the things that you can also do is when you're going through a challenging situation and when there's something that you need to learn, you can ask your spirit guide, your angels and your loved ones, what's the life lesson? What is it that I need to learn? How can you help me? What is it that you can lead me through? So on and so forth. Have those conversations with them. And more importantly, they will find a way to reach out to you and speak to you. And what's so amazing is they send you signs just like your loved ones in spirit do. So know that whether you talk to your spirit guides and your angels out loud or whether you talk to them internally, they hear when you call their name and when you speak to them. And that being said, you know, what I want you guys to know is that if you've been enjoying my videos, okay, remember, I don't know everything there is to know about the other side. When I make these videos, all of these videos that I've been making for you guys are all, all the information that I've learned, all the teachings that I've learned have come from your loved ones in spirit. Every time I do a reading, 
There's so much that the spirit world shows me. It's not just about delivering the message. When you see me give readings on, you know, my YouTube channel or on Facebook or on television or wherever it is, when I talk to your loved ones in spirit, there's so much that they share with me about heaven, about the afterlife, about living life here in this world. And every time I do a reading, I get a little bit, a little glimpse into heaven. I start to know heaven a little bit better. I start to understand more about heaven in the afterlife. And I take all of that information and I share it with you. And I could go on and on talking about spirit guides and angels and how they help you and reincarnation and about old souls and about all these different things. But I would literally be here all night long. So I did the best thing. During the past two years, you guys have asked me literally all of these amazing questions about heaven and the afterlife. You've asked me, Matt, what happens when someone passes of suicide? You've asked me, Matt, what happens to our pets that have passed? You've asked me how old you are in heaven. What happens if you've had multiple multiple husbands or multiple wives or multiple significant others? What if you did something really bad here in this world? Well, all of these questions, I've literally taken all of your hundreds of questions that you've asked me, and I wrote this new book called We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife. This is my brand new book. It comes out this summer. And it's available to pre-order right now. And first of all, I want to thank you guys while I have you all here because because of you, this is now, I just found out over the weekend that this is now the most pre-ordered book in all of gallery books, okay, in Simon & Schuster. So that being said, We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife is available to pre-order now and it ships this summer, this August, okay? I think it's the second week in August it ships. So you've got to make sure that you pre-order your copy right now on Amazon. If you get it on Amazon, if you pre-order on Amazon, you do not get charged until it ships. So make sure you order. We never die secrets of the afterlife because I know you are going to forget. All right. So what I'm hoping is I'm hoping that this summer you forget that you pre-ordered my book. And I hope that you're doing your toes and that you're cleaning your car and it's going to be a shitty week out. And you're going to be like, what the hell am I going to do? It's going to rain this week. I'm going to be stuck in the house. What's going to happen? What do I do? And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, right? you get a little notification on your phone that says, Hey, your Matt Frazier book is arriving tomorrow and we're debiting your account. And then next thing you know, the next day on your doorstep is my book. We never die secrets of the afterlife. So I really hope that this comes to you and gets delivered at a time when you really need it the most. And all of the information in this book was written by the help of spirit. I've asked spirit all the questions that you've asked me and I put it in my new book. So go order We Never Die Secrets of the Afterlife on Amazon. And if you pre-order now, you're guaranteed to get the lowest price of the book. And literally because there are so many pre-orders in, I hope that we don't run out. So make sure that you get your pre-orders in. Second second item of business, I know that many of you are saying, Matt, I want a reading. I want a reading. You know, help me connect with my loved ones. And I also see, I also saw... um, a lot of you guys uh, over the weekend in Las Vegas, I see Iris was there because I saw you in Vegas. Yes, you did. I was so excited to see you as well. I want you guys to know that I just announced that I am coming to Boston, Massachusetts, New York City, and Detroit, Michigan. So if you want to come and meet me live in person, there are two ways to get a reading. One, you can meet me live in person by coming to New York City. I'm coming April 30th. You can come to see me in Massachusetts. I'm coming to Lynn, Massachusetts on March 3rd. And then I'm also coming to Detroit, Michigan this fall. So tickets are up on my website, meetmattfraser.com. And also, if you're not in those areas, you can join me for a live online group reading. All of the videos that you've been seeing here on my YouTube page when, I give, when I've been giving readings, those aren't private readings. Here's the secret. Those are all my live online reading events. You know, because I'm booked up three years for private readings, I can't take any more new clients. But what I have been doing is live online readings. It's only $19 to attend. And literally, I have read hundreds and hundreds of people. Just take a look at my YouTube channel and you'll see all of all of the people that I've read and the amazing messages that have come through. That's just a small fraction of the many people who have gotten read during these online reading events. So that being said, here's the link right here, meetmattfraser.com slash events. It's meetmattfraser.com. If the dead can find me, so can you. And that's where you can come and join me in in, uh, Boston, Massachusetts, in New York, in Detroit, Michigan, or you can join me for an online group reading where your video turns on and I get to see you guys at home. 
So one of the things is, is I hope that you guys will come and join me. Oh, and there's one other secret I got to tell you guys as well about the live events. A lot of you were saying, Matt, you know, you your first your, the first rows of, of events have sold out. I can only get tickets in the back. What if I don't get a reading? What I want you guys to know is during my events, and if you've been there before, you'll know that it does not matter where you sit. That is the secret. If your loved ones have a message for you, I will find you. That's what I love so much. Literally during these events, I get off the stage and I go to where spirits call me. I might be talking to somebody in the front row that had lost their mom to next thing you know, being way in the back corner with someone who had lost their dad to next thing you know, being, you know, two aisles over with somebody who had lost their cousin. You know, just in Detroit, Michigan alone, the last time I was there, there was a man all the way up in the balcony who had lost his son. I had to get in the elevator, take it up the up two floors to go and connect him with his son. That same thing happens at every single live event and show. And that's the reason why you got to make sure that you are there. So like I said, Boston, Massachusetts, New York City, Detroit, Michigan, come meet me live in person. Or if you're not in those areas, keep checking meetmattfraser.com or join me for a live online group reading. I cannot wait to see you all. I want to thank you for being here on my channel with, with me. And don't forget, every Monday, there's a new psychic reading video. So you have... Two, two pieces of homework to do. One, pre-order We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife. And two, I want you to come and meet me and give me a big hug when I am coming live to your area. So thank you all for all, thank you all so much for all the love. Thank you, Ashes to Ashes. Thank you, Blue Phoenix Fire. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, um, thank you, Queen of Rose, Rose World. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, uh, Jonathan Jones. Thank you, Redski. Thank you, all of you, for your comments, for your love for every single thing that you do for me every single day. I love sharing this, sharing these videos and sharing this knowledge with you for those reasons, because of the fact that you guys, you know, motivate me every day with your questions, with your comments, with, you know, the way that you're here for me. And I hope that this channel helps you know that your loved ones are only just a thought away. So I will see you all soon. Head on over to meetmattfraser.com. And more importantly, remember that your loved ones are always with you. They truly are just a thought away. I'll see you soon.